everybody, it's Michelle from Lilac Cottage Crafts here and this is Fosstube number seven I think it is now. Um, I haven't done a Fosstube now for just over a month um, for quite a few reasons. I've been very busy, um, it's been hard to find time to film and also I when I kind of got to three weeks on I thought I really need to do a Fosstube but then I thought I haven't actually got that much to show so I thought I'll leave it a little bit longer um, so I have actually got um, three finishes um, two are finished objects uh, that haven't been completed and I actually have one FFO fully finished object um, I don't think I've shown you any of these because they're all sort of short stitches um, so the first two that I'm going to show you, so I'm just going to go straight into it, um, are um, from the, I've got to think what they're called now, I think, is it uh, Priscilla and Chelsea, the Stitching Housewives? Um, I bought these from Etsy. Now I know their patterns tend to be done on Black Ada and I started to do this first one on Black Ada um, and I was really struggling with it. I couldn't see. Um, so I think if I do, and I, I do think they probably would look better in the black or a darker Ada. Um, but because I was sort of thinking of them for Easter and spring, I decided to use like a yellow, uh, one of the ones that I dyed um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so the first one I did is called Fancy Carrot Seeds. And um, the, the problem was just sort of the rabbit more than anything. You can't really see the rabbit very well oh, it's probably actually showing up a little bit better on the camera um and i'm my aim with this one for the finish is to put him on a little blackboard um so he's not going to be very big and like a little tiny blackboard that can stand up on its own um i don't know whether that's going to work or not so uh, we'll see <laughs> so that's the fancy carrot seeds that i've done um, and then the next one by them um, is kind of in the same range and it's carrots for sale and I changed a couple of the colours on this one um, I what did I change now I changed the colour of the bunny rabbit so I did him in kind of like a little bit of a grey um, and I changed the colour of his shirt because I think the shirt was supposed to be the same colour as the car and I felt that if I did that it was it he he didn't have his own kind of, this goes that weird but if he got in the car then you wouldn't be able to see the bunny rabbit because it's the same color as the car so <laughs> yeah, it's like and also i i think that i might be wrong i'd have to look at the pattern that on the original pattern because it's done on black ada i th i'm trying to think yeah i think the black writing you don't stitch so you just stitched the white and because you couldn't really see the carrots for sale and bunny i decided to stitch it black because otherwise you couldn't you couldn't see it um sorry the dog um charlie my dog's snoring a bit going to sleep making a bit of a funny noise he's not very well um He's had a sickness and diarrhea bug, bless him. Apparently, um, the vet said there's a lot of that going around at the moment. Um, so he's he's been doing a lot of moaning, bless him, because he's obviously not feeling very well. And he's been off his food, which isn't like him at all to be off his food. Uh, so he's, he's just lay down on the floor now going to sleep, but he's making a little bit of noise. I'm just checking that he's okay. I don't know whether you can hear him or not. Um, my next one, my fully finished object, is a pattern that was free and I can't for the life of me remember the company that the pattern was off. I'm really sorry. I actually got the pattern um, from Mama Loves You GB on Fosstube, um, which is Michelle, um, and she had it in one of her videos a few weeks ago. Um, and there's two different ones that you can do. There's there's carrots and there's bunnies. So this is the one that I did, which is the bunnies. And there's a different choice of border as well. Now I didn't have the flosses that they used. I think they used like a variegated floss for the actual uh, piece. Um, again, I've used just white Ada that I dyed. 
myself. Um, so I stitched that and then I cut it. Um, I cut all these pieces of the pillow and I've also put a little tag thing, I don't know what you call it, oh, what's it called, a uh, pin, one of those little pins that's kind of a bit rounded. Uh, I might just put some more um, loops on these, so I've put a little bunny charm, I don't know if you can see it, a little bunny rabbit charm and then like a little um, pine cone or something on it. Um, so yeah, and this, what I did as well was when I when I sewed it together and came to stuff it, I've put um, walnut shell stuffing that's, I think if you put pin cushion stuffing in or wal walnut shell stuffing in, um, I sort of got the woman who's, I think it was a woman that sold it, um, did a lot of different grades. Um, so I got a sort of medium grade, so it's not dead fine and it's not dead um you know coarse either uh, so i put that into the bottom of the pillow to kind of make it stand up on its own and then i put stuffing in the top uh, which is why i keep going like this because it feels really good actually um, and that stands on my unit in my living room which is just behind the camera so at the end of the video if i remember i'll put on um a picture or a video of it in its little spot but I'm really made up with that I've not sewn anything for ages and I just um I tried sewing sewing I tried sewing this on um the button but it kept sort of turning so I ended up having to glue it I didn't really want to glue it I wanted it all to be sewn but it was it wasn't staying in the right place so I ended up having to super glue that uh, and this material was just um uh, cheap off Amazon that I got a couple of squares which is one of the reasons why that has got two different colours on the back was because the piece wasn't wide enough that especially once I'd cut because I cut the front bit first and then I thought ah I need it for the back but one of my ideas with it was to do two colours um, and so it also meant that I, I stitched it here on the back rather than stitching it together along the top after I'd or the bottom after I'd stuffed it so it worked out better actually and I was very very pleased with my ladder stitch um because ladder stitch when you're doing it if I was doing it along an edge like that is easier because the two pieces you can kind of hold together flat and get get the um I don't know what the word is but the right sort of angle maybe is the word to say but this because it's sort of flat it was a bit more difficult to stitch it but I am really pleased with it I love it and I think this is the first piece of cross stitch in a long time definitely um, that I've actually fully finished so like I say I'm absolutely made up with it I think it's lovely and the people that I've shown it to even though they might have just been being nice have said that it's really nice so I'm uh, like I say really pleased with that and now my because um, I've moved it around my um, little pins going here there and everywhere Put it down like that yeah so i'm talking to the dog there as well because he's kind of down there um and then the only other thing that i think i've worked on um since last time i think is this um i've done i've filled in now almost all of this top bit there's just a couple of stitches there um I think they're all done and then obviously now I'm starting to come down here I'm going to do this part first before I do um the lip fungi at the top um because he's I mean I know they're sort of light colors in that but because he's light colors at the top um especially I don't I don't I like to try and leave the lighter colors if I can until last because they can get dirty I mean I know it probably might it will get a wash even though I do get quite nervous washing them <laughs> that all my stitches are going to come undone at the back or it's not gonna um I don't know I just I just don't like doing it I get very nervous but um yeah I'm leaving I'm leaving the, the mouse's head the rest of his body and head until I've finished the bottom bit of this I may have put some stitches in the fox as well but I can't remember so because I, I wasn't sure I've left him and I think that's the only stitching that I've done that I can that I can think of oh I bought this 
this bag as well. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know what my dog's doing. He's looking confused. Charlie, you okay? What's up? You seen something? don't know what's up um i bought this bag i think it was something like 6.99 or 8.99 in um home bargains and it's a nice big bag it's like a washable one and it's got lots of pockets both on the outside it's got a, ve a velcro pocket there uh, and on the inside so i've been putting my um working piece in this because i obviously i keep the pieces in in these wallets i've just ordered some more of these wallets ready for anticipating some more starts very soon so yeah i really like that I like the colors and everything um and i also whilst i was in home bargains picked up this um and it was this tin it's not a tin is it the box a plastic box um and it has all these different um skeins in it and it also has the plastic bobbins as well um and i thought it's nice because it's got some nice sort of like oh with the lights on it autumnal colors in there um and i thought you know when when you're uh, sort of doing something sometimes you want to mix it up a bit with different colors you can use these um and they're a lot cheaper obviously than dmc so really pleased with that and obviously you've also got the box so bought that um got some more floss bags because I, I like using the floss bags when i kick stuff up <laughs> uh, and i got these on um, amazon and these i got um four lots and they are i don't know the name of the actual company uh i can't see it brilliantly well um and they've got the dmc colors on them and what i did is i haven't got obviously a lot of dmc colors so i got out my cxc or kcx i can't remember what i i mentioned that i bought last week um and put the colors i did the yellow ones and i put all the colors of yellow next to the yellows that i got in them and most of them were identical colors but there was a few where they were different and it wasn't a subtle difference it was quite a bit of a difference but i don't know whether these ones are not right or the other ones are not right because <laughs> i haven't got the dmc to compare them to but again i'm just probably going to use these more like the ones in that plastic box where it's just if i'm doing something and i just want to sort of pick out the colors myself so yeah so i got the greens the blues the red and kind of a little bit pinky and the uh, yellows and they were two pounds i think 15 14 they were on offer for a pack and they also come with the uh, plastic bobbins in as well which um i thought well you could pay that practically for plastic bobbin i didn't know actually that it came with the plastic bobbins in it so so yeah i got those off amazon um and then got a big haul <laughs> so I, um, I'll just get hold of these first actually. So I went online, I'm just trying to think where I bought things from now. Yeah. So I went online, I went on eBay to someone who sells a lot of like patterns um, that I'd seen again. I think I found him because Mama Loves You GB mentioned somebody on ebay now i don't know if this is the actual person that she was on about but when i was looking for the person she'd mentioned a while ago i found these so um a couple of months back i saw the year in the woods patterns which i think probably most of you know what they are i'm just gonna move the stuff on my table um and the first one i saw obviously was the fox hang on put them down so that the, the thing's not shining on him. Um, so the fox um, by um, Cottage Garden Samplers or Samplings. Samplings, I think it is. Not got my glasses on. Uh, and I absolutely loved him. I thought I've got to do him. And then obviously they are releasing different ones throughout the year. I don't know whether it's one a month or, or what. I don't know. Um, so I've got him. 
that I got off eBay because a lot of places sold out of him. Um, I kept seeing it and then I was like, I'll have to wait till payday. Payday came and he'd gone. So I've got the fox and then I've got, he's number one. Then I've got number three, which is Jack Rabbit. I just think that's fantastic. Those ears are amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then I got the number four, which I don't know why I shouted that then, uh, which is the raccoon. Which again, I mean, look at that tail. Tail's brilliant. I love the way that they've done that detail in. I think that's something that they do because I've got stuff from uh, something I'll show you in a minute from another collection of theirs, and that's that must be their style. This is kind. This is the first country. I said it wrong. Cottage garden samplings that I've had. Um. So yeah, and then I got. I saw this one of theirs, which is from. A past collection and I absolutely love squirrels we get squirrels all the time where I live um, so yeah this one's uh, called gathering acorns and this is from a series called a time for all seasons and this was number nine I don't know what year this was out I haven't heard of this uh, particular one before I just saw that but no doubt if I saw all the other ones in that uh, particular um, series i'm probably going to love them and i've heard that the ones from this series the next one that's coming out is a bear um and i love bears so yeah i will i no doubt that will be on my list when that comes out and the other two things that i got off ebay off the same person i'll try and put them there's shopping at the bottom but don't be buying stuff i want <laughs> don't be buying anything i want Charlie's doing a bit of grumbling. I don't know if you can hear him or not. Uh, so the next one I've got, this makes me laugh what this is called. It's called Halloweenies. And it's, we, well, as Americans call them wiener dogs and we call them sausage dogs in the UK. And they're Halloween sausage dogs. He's, he's gone off now. I don't know where he's gone. Just make sure he doesn't want to go outside. I'm listening for him. Um, so yeah, I've got that. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, so that's brilliant just me makes me chuckle every time i see that and i also got midnight watch which is oh, i didn't mention not come in that halloweenies was that one is plum plum street samplers and then this one is blackbird designs um and that's again i just love that i can't wait to start doing halloween stuff i love halloween and fall um, so those two, the Halloweenies, oops, sorry, the Halloweenies and the um, Midnight Watch, hopefully might, I don't know, might get done for Christmas, probably not, not Christmas, sorry, <laughs> Halloween, uh, didn't say which Halloween, so yes, yeah, so I got those off eBay, and then my, oop, Caterpillar Cross Stitch, um, a touch of magic, Sal, has arrived and I've got everything so I've got my Ada I did sort of toy between getting the Ada or the um the fabric linen I think it is but I decided to go for the Ada uh, just to be on the safe side in case there was sort of big gaps in between because I'm really rubbish at getting the count right if, if there's gaps um and then I'll just show you the um because you can you can add this into your kit as an extra if you want the um, needle minder and the needle minder for this one is a cat a lovely lovely cat there how lovely is that cat um i got 10 percent off by using if you use crisscross stitch no is it crisscross chris Crisscross Stitch. Oh, do you know, I can't remember the name of this channel. <laughs> I can hear the music in my head. But anyway, he's got an offer on if you go to his channel. And I only got this on, I think I bought it on Friday of last week. Um, and I'm currently filming this on a Thursday, which is like a week, just a week ago. So it may still have that offer on if you go online, you get 10% off, which is great because if you get the full kit like I did, you get them like practically a fiver nearly a fiver off it so that's that's brilliant um so 
yeah so my um i keep calling it spooky stitch but it's not it's a touch of magic is what it's called and obviously you you don't know what it's going to look like yet they they've stitched it and then sort of just flares it out but it looks to me like there's a cat on there and i'll presume that there's like a witch or a witch's hat maybe a ghost and i don't know but i can't wait to start that i still haven't i'm not caught up with my other caterpillar cross stitch um um how did your garden grow sal <laughs> so, who knows when i'll get around to doing this one i'm determined to try and keep on track with this one but i'm not very good at keeping on track with anything so the next things i got i got from patchwork rabbit um a small business in the uk and again i was sort of pointed in the direction by Mama Loves Your GB um, so I've got I've got my well my bank account has got a lot to uh, thank her for <laughs> so I, I got the number five of the year in the woods which is ferret I absolutely love the ferret and actually I think out of all of them I think actually the ferret so far is my favorite and I bought most of the call or i think all definitely all the dmc call for threads i'm not sure about the fancy flosses i think i managed to get one but i think the other one was out of stock um so yeah i don't know when i'm going to start these but um so i got that so that's like i say that's number five so i presume the bear's number six and then i got some plum street samplers i got um <laughs> cow pile <laughs> yeah that just makes me laugh it's, there's quite a few of these different ones there's like the sheep i think there's chickens and like this is i got the cow pile one there and then another plum street samplers ones that i liked which will go nicely with the um halloweenies is turkey sausage <laughs> so we've got sausage dogs in a sort of more sort of like uh this is like what they celebrate in canada and america um and they celebrate um i forgot it. <laughs> i can hear you all shouting it thanksgiving <sighs> um i actually have american and canadian friends and family um so we do sometimes take part in um thanksgiving celebrations i have been to several thanksgiving celebration meals we've had the full works and everything um so it's something that it isn't sort of alien to me it's 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 something that i do i do like i like the i think i've seen a pillow with, with the turkey with the turkey on with the big sort of turkey tail in all alt autumnal colors so if I can find that, I don't know if it's a free pattern or if it's um, somebody else's pattern. But um, yeah, so again, <laughs> we've got that. And then this one, this is my first Poutini Poutini um, and it's called Dog Lovers. And, ooh, the lights again. As you can see there, we have a few things that came in the kit which i didn't know it came in the kit so it was made up when it came we have the little dog pin at the top and then we have the paw button and then we have the, the dog button so like i say they're all in the kit as well which i was absolutely made up because i didn't know that it came in the kit so i bought some things that i'll show you in a minute because i thought that i couldn't find that kit on the website and i thought you had to buy it separate so i was really gutted <laughs> um that they didn't have them so i bought an alternative so i was absolutely honestly i opened my mail and i saw that and i was like Ooh! i was so excited i was like a little kid honestly now the other things i've got are in these little brown bags which is really cute and they are um compostable bags which is great and they all have the little sticker on saying thank you for supporting my small business from the patchwork rabbit and it's got a first being all 
green and everything. So I've got the DMC colours that I wanted for two of the things that I've got in this. And this is, it is, I didn't know the name of the company, Weeks Dye Works. That is one of the call for um, sort of fancy flosses within the, um, the ferret, I think it is. Uh, and it's, is it called walnut? Driftwood. Uh, and it's variegated, so I think I think it is picking up that it's got slightly different colours of brown and sort of slightly sort of beigey, creamy colour in it. Um, so that's the only sort of fancy floss that I managed to get hold of. And then I've got all these flosses that are, so these are for most of these are for the um the ferret and some are for i think it might be dog lover yes because i know that blue is for dog lover so i should hopefully have all the flosses i need for doing those two there and then i ordered this dog button hang on Another dog button that I was going to replace the dog button on there, but it's, it's a lot bigger than that dog. I didn't know what size it was, um, but I don't need to now because I've got the proper one in the kit. And then I bought this pi um, pack of pins from Poutini Poutini. Um, and I bought this because I thought, well, it's got a paw. OK, it's not the same colour, but it'll do for now. And then I, I knit. So we've got that little um, like yarn there that's absolutely fantastic and i thought the cat could come in for something in the halloween stuff that i'm doing so i made up my poutini poutini i, I i've had a woman laughing today actually i was in uh, my local yarn shop and i was talking about this and, and i said like um i've got this stuff from poutini poutini and i said it just makes me want to go all italian and go like poutini poutini i know i sound stupid and i probably just insulted a load of italian people i'm very sorry I am daft. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> so I've got those. And they're so cute. I love those pins. They are really gorgeous. And then I got some um, fabric. I think the Royal Zygarde. Check. Yeah, the Royal Zygarde. And are they all Laguna as well? Yes, they're all Laguna. So I got... Um, the rods, I think they're all 28 count. This one is Cream Brittany Laguna. That colour there. I've not took them out the bags because I thought, well, it's better to just leave them in. <laughs> then I've got um, Light Mocha Brittany. That's a nice one. Well, they're all nice. I've wise one to got them. Then I've got um, Sand Brittany Laguna. And the last one is Top Brittany Laguna. So I thought some of these might do for the stuff that I've bought there. And that's my haul. And then the only other thing that I've been doing is because it's coming up to the Queen's Jubilee, I noticed that a lot of people on some of the knitting um place the uh, knitting facebook pages that i've been on people have been knitting the queen and it's a pattern by um knitting by post uh so i bought the pattern it was 3.99 to buy online i'll find it on my tablet in a minute so this is where i'm up to with my lizzie so she's got her legs and her body and her head she's got her arms and a coat sorry her coat went on first before her arms her arms are going to meet at the front. She's got a little handbag. And then I'm once I've met that at the front, I'm just going to try and see if I can just pull the arms back slightly. She's going to have a hat. I've started doing the hat and then she's got some hair. And then obviously I've got to knit her nose and then do her eyes. I don't know if I'm going to sew her eyes with um, like floss or if I'm going to put plastic eyes in. Should have decided that before I sewed her together because if I'm putting plastic eyes in now, I can't put the safety things on the back, but this is going to be for me, so it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I haven't blocked her coat, so it's kind of curling up everywhere. But yeah, so that's 
that's Queen Elizabeth so far. So I'm working on that currently. Let me just find the picture of what, what she's like on my iPad and then um, we can see what I've been doing. It doesn't like my uh, face. Where is she? There we go. So that's what, that's what she's not like. They did her in yellow, but I, um, I didn't like the, I mean, she's fine in the yellow, but I just thought I'll do her in lilac. So there, she's going to have a bag and then everything. So yeah, um, and loads of people have been putting like uh, buttons on as, um, what do you call it, as a, as a brooch. And I've bought, and in fact, they've just arrived before I started videoing this, some feathers that might go in a hat. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about Lizzie coming along. Um, and that's, that's, that's it. And I'm coming up to doing half an hour now. I don't want to really go over that much now because um i think people kind of get a bit bored after half an hour i think i i know i do if anything's sort of lasting over that i'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna watch it unless it's really really riveting so i'd like to thank you all uh, for spending the time we hopefully um i'll do um something sooner than a, a month and hopefully i'll i'll get some stuff now because i've got quite a few things to work on and i've got i've got the stuff to work with it as well it's just more the time for me more than anything um really at the moment finding the time to do stuff and also finding the time to when there's nobody in the house to disturb me for filming as well so um yeah i feel like i've kind of rushed through everything but it's it's you know i've got through everything i wanted to um and uh i just hope that um, you've all enjoyed the video and you're all well. What I will say actually um, is, and I probably should have said at the beginning, is if you do like my channel then please do subscribe because obviously I want to try and get to that, you know, that 1000 subscribers because it opens up stuff to me um, from YouTube to be able to do more on my side of things. Um, it's not just to go, oh I've got a thousand subscribers, it helps me to be able to do more with, with the channel for you guys watching. Um, I think when I looked today at my count, it was something like 400 and, I think it was 469. When I get to the 500 subscribers, which is an achievement, I mean, sorry, did I say 400 then or 500? When I get to the 500 subscribers, that is, I mean, I'm blown away that I've got so many subscribers anyway. Um, but I will do a, a giveaway when, when I get to 500. Um, so, you know, if you know any friends that might be interested in watching this, my videos, please do point them in my direction. If you've got any questions for me, if you've got anything you want to tell me, you want to have a little chit chat, please, please, please put something uh, down below and I will wish you all well and leave you to get on with your day. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you hopefully before a month's time. Bye!